Okay, hi everybody. Welcome back to Painter Tips and Tricks. And today we're going to discuss um, cold crashing. Um, it's not a great mystery really, but uh, on the left, what we have is my Stars and Stripes APA, which we're going for on a long brew, which is um, five days brewing, if you want to, one day's cold crash, and then seven days conditioning in the fridge. And on the right, is part of a future video. Um, this is a long brew a West Nuevo. I know it's got a public house tag on it, but they didn't send me a toe tag with either of my West Nuevo presses. So I had to recycle, reduce, reuse and all that. Um, so this is the long brew version. So it is eight, it's been eight days uh, brewing. We're gonna go for one day cold crash and then 15 days conditioning. 15 days, really, in the fridge? But what we're going to do is we're going to get another painter uh, and then we're going to put on a short brew of the West Nuevo, which it is only uh, six brewing, one day's cold crash if you want to, and then just two days conditioning in the fridge. Seems awfully short, but we're going to get them both to finish off simultaneously and then I'm going to tap them both and try them both and see what the difference is. But at the minute, uh, in here, I like to brew in the kitchen. So yeah, that's been sitting at 19 degrees. And I've looked at the weather forecast for tonight and it's gonna get down to a very chilly three degrees outside tonight, which is just perfect for cold crashing. Now, there's not enough room in the fridge, so it has to be done outside. And they sit like they are now. You just lift them put them outside, uh, you put them in the shed if you want, just somewhere, uh, I'll probably put mine in the shed uh, so that the temperature drops. Now, the whole purpose is at the minute, obviously with the dock attached, as the yeast breed, etc., and die, they drop down like the painter is designed to do into the dock and settle in there rather than staying in with your beer. The point of cold crashing is, that you will kill some more of what's left, that if they're still breeding, and those will then settle out of the beer overnight, furthermore into your dock and lessen your beer, so that when you take the dock off, or when I take the dock off tomorrow, most of the yeast will have fallen and settled out of your beer into your dock that you then remove. Some guys like to make bread, not particularly my thing, but that yeast then is out of your beer and hopefully will lead to a more clear finish if you're into drinking clear beer. So that is the whole point of doing a cold crash, just to get more of the yeast out of your beer, down settled into the dock for you removing. So uh, I'm not very good at doing links or any of that good stuff, but if you want to uh, Give it a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe. You can then search uh, my videos on the tips and tricks overall of putting on a smash and brew. Plus then you can see the future video. So when we get our two West, West Nuevos together, we can do a sample and see if all of those extra days, those 15 days conditioning, actually makes any difference at all. Uh, yep, yeah, see you all soon.